Hi friends, my name is Ram and let's discuss the installation of Oracle 12C on CentOS 7. So what I have on my desktop is downloaded version of Linux 64-bit Oracle 12C database dot zip file. Okay, and I've created a script and uh, let me show you the content of the script which will basically what I it will have is all the basic commands which are required to create the user like group add you know we need to install uh, add a group dba oper o install we need to group add asm admin asm dba asm oper then we need to add a user with primary group o install and secondary group dba asm dba and all this then we need to create a database uh, create a directory change the ownership of the directory change permissions we need to add x host and then move the file which I just showed you to the home directory of Oracle user and then unzip that file and change the ownership of that file along with all that you know unzipping the file and changing the ownership of uh, that file to Oracle user and o install group okay let's just uh, execute the script it will do all the jobs for us which includes uh, creating the required directories creating the users creating the groups copying the files to the oracle user directory and then extracting the files uh, from this right so it will uh, do all these uh, steps in one go that's the best part of it now we it has done okay let's see that the settings on the parameter system CTL parameters we'll take a look at this so we have this file 99sysctl.conf let's take a look at this file because we need uh, kernel parameters you know some high memory areas SHM minimum SHM shared memory minimum shared memory maximum we need to have these values these are uh, sub uh, you know uh, required uh, values we need to make sure that these values are there and you can find the values in sysctl.conf also verify that you can have uh, these values at either of these two locations so whether you keep these values in one file uh, sysctl.conf under etc or under etc sysctl.d under this file but hyphen p will tell you the exact value or final values of these uh, parameters so you use sysctl hyphen p and you verify the values of these parameters is appropriately set according to the values displayed here now clear the screen let's take a look at the sysctl.com oh sorry uh, that is limit security limits limits.conf and we need to have these limits at the bottom of the file and these values are required hard limit soft limit for Oracle user so we need to set these limits alright verify that you have the exactly same set of values now once you have verified uh, kernel parameters when you have verified limits you are set to go you can start the installer you can take a look at this just verify the file we have a directory we need to extract the file if it is not installed ex extracted here So we have the database directory here in the root directory so we need to take a look at this directory and this is owned by uh, root user so we need to move this directory database because the file of the zip file is extracted at this location it was a mistake in the script so we should move it to the home directory of the Oracle user and we need to change the ownership 
of this directory to Oracle user and O install uh, group with hyphen R option. Still the ownership is with root user have you noticed we missed that hyphen R user we should give hyphen R option. Now everything is set. We have Oracle user and O install group. We can exit from here, log out and log in as Oracle user and we are ready to start the installer. Let's first use the deconf editor to minimize the icons. X icons are very large. So GNOME, Nautilus, under that we see a very you no know, icon to minimize the size. So under Nautilus you will see icon view. Make it small. This is first time login, so we'll get all these additional links. Now icons are comparatively small. Now we are good to go. We don't need the zip file now because we already extracted that. Go to the database folder, CD database, and now run the installer. But before that we run the installer we need to take a let that uh, dot bash underscore profile file and we need to, to verify that oracle host name oracle.example.com and the folders path so please take a look at this file we need to have appropriate settings these are all environment variables which are required by, by the installer and if there is something missing we need to verify that We need one more we need to look at the hostname file and etc host whether we are able to ping the hostname or not this is again typical error when you do the installation your hostname if you are not able to ping the hostname it will not work so let's verify the IP address where whether we are able to ping Oracle or not if yes then we are good to go then we can do the installation start we are able to ping oracle.example.com so network must be there hostname must be properly configured you should be able to ping right and if you are able to ping the IP address you know then you can go for it if you notice I have two uh, Ethernet cards ENP 0 S8 ENP 0 S3 ENP 0 S9 in fact three Ethernet cards one is for uh, NAT for internet access one is for uh, host machine and one is for internal networking if I have two internal networks Now we have verified the networking, we have verified that it is able to ping, we have verified everything so we are starting the installer with dot slash run installer. Take a few moments.
so Oracle 12C database so I don't wish to so unselect the checkbox next it will give a warning so first option now we need to select the server class single instance database let's go for advanced install because we'll see all the options even though we don't have to select it's enterprise edition the path we need to verify host name we need to be careful so create a container database let's change the container database name because we want pluggable database as well as a container database so pluggable database should be pdb1 let's keep it pdb or pdb1 if you want to install sample schema you need to check box tick mark here so click on this check box for sample schema you can use single password for all the accounts sys system and pdb admin even if it is weak it will give a warning but it will accept it finally it will check the existing settings prerequisites for the installation I have given 4 GB RAM so even if it is space related warning comes I am ok with it I will ignore the warning because I have 4 GB RAM so that's fine I have around 6 GB of uh, total space 4 GB RAM plus 2 GB space I'm okay with it so I'll ignore this if you have 2 GB RAM you should have 4 GB uh, swap area in my case it is 2 GB swap and 4 GB RAM so please be careful about it we have to execute these two scripts as root user so we need to open a terminal switch to root user and we need to execute this script so let's open a terminal and now let's execute the script and second one also similarly I will continue with the installation the overall installation may take nearly 40-45 minutes ok let's take a look at the in the meanwhile oracle db let's create a script for this purpose uh, so that every time we start and we manage the oracle database start and stop process with oracle db script and this is a script where we configure oracle home oracle honor and we verify that uh, to start the database the command is quite simple that is db start and with oracle home but that command should be executed as oracle owner
so th what this will do is it will uh, be able to start the database with uh, system 5 script in its script like system ctl start oracle db system ctl stop oracle db and this command will do that this is a system d command if you want to use a system 5 script in it 5 script then you can use service oracle db start server oracle db stop so change the ownership of this directory or oh sorry this file change the ownership and add it you will not be able to add if the permissions are not set you need to use hyphen hyphen add oracle db of course execute permissions also must be set if it is not and if you want the database to be started every time you start your system then system ctl oracle db on or service oracle db on installation is going on creating the pluggable database now the database installation is complete and you can visit this enterprise manager at oracle colon double five double zero slash em let's start the browser and verify that in fact we need to verify ORA tab so that the database starts every time you start your system Let's check the enterprise manager now. So here we are. Oracle.example.com colon double five double zero slash em and, and done with it look at this so add this exception confirm security exception and get the enterprise manager login So we got that enterprise manager running. So login as sys user with the password Oracle as sys DPA and you are working on the enterprise manager console. So we got uh, Oracle 12C successfully installed and we are working on it that completes the installation part of Oracle 12C on CentOS 7. All right. That's all for this session. Thank you very much everybody. Bye. Take care.